Good morning, this is Greg Kaiser at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Tuesday, November 13th. Uh, should be another very quiet weather day, uh, looking at the water vapor satellite loop. Uh, the upper level ridge, you can kind of see it's moving on onshore and it's going to move east and over Idaho today. Uh, there will be some maybe some high level clouds but nothing in the way of precipitation uh, just some very high level clouds today looking at the radar loop nothing on radar anywhere and we're going to remain dry for the next few days looking at the surface weather depiction high pressure over eastern idaho and the next front approaching the pacific northwest and that's going to keep most of the showers well to the north of Idaho today as we get into Wednesday still high pressure again showing the precipitation over spreading uh, the panhandle of Idaho into Montana and as we get into Thursday still this pretty much the same thing we are going to get some of this precipitation drop south maybe during the day Friday into Saturday so there will be a chance of some precipitation uh, mainly Friday and Saturday, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a very large event. Uh, but a couple of days of at least a chance of, of rain and snow. Uh, high temperatures today are going to be much warmer than they have been. Generally should get into the low to mid 40s in the Snake River Plain and also upper 30s to mid 40s in the mountains. Overnight lows tonight. Uh, still very cold but starting to, to get a bit warmer, still many teens across much of the area. As we get into Wednesday, continued warming trend, high temperatures well into the 40s to even low 50s in the Snake River Plain, generally 40s in the mountains. And overnight lows start to warm up too by Thursday morning uh, into the upper teens to mid-20s. And by Thursday, again, still very above normal temperatures uh, across the region with mainly high temperatures in the 40s to low 50s and low temperatures by Friday morning should be well up into the 20s in most locations other than some mountain valleys. And to look into the one to two week future covering the Thanksgiving holiday it is looking like uh, still better chances of above normal temperatures and also below normal precipitation so again the long range outlook is looking for warm and dry weather conditions uh, as we get into the latter part of November. That will conclude today's briefing. If you have any questions contact us at the phone number listed 24 hours, day, 24 hours a day or go to the website listed at the bottom of this page. Thank you.